Welcome into the Los Angeles Lakers report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We have a loaded show today on tap for all of the real ones. All of the NBA experts are now picking the Los Angeles Lakers to win the NBA Finals. Nick Wright thinks that they are going to win the West, as well as Chris Mannix thinks that they are going to come out of the West. We'll talk about that. Then the latest NBA mock draft has just been released via the ringer. We'll talk about who they had LA picking in that coming up. But first, it is officially the race to 50,000 here with two NBA channels here at Chat Sports. Yours truly hosts the Los Angeles Lakers Report, and we are just over 250 subs away from getting to 50,000. The Warriors Today channel, hosted by Chase Sr., is also right there. They got just over about 450 to go. I want to beat them. I like to win, and I'm a winner. Winners win, and the Lakers, they are one of the most winning franchises Ever. So let's get to 50,000 before the Golden State Warriors, who just got good this decade. Sub to the Lakers report. Let's go. So a lot of NBA experts are now all of a sudden falling in love with the Los Angeles Lakers. And for good reason, right? I mean, when you look at the record since the NBA All-Star break, the Lakers are at the top where all of the good teams stack up. So should people buy in to what the Lakers have been selling for the past couple of weeks? Nick Wright thinks so. This is what he had to say. He said, the Lakers are winning the whole thing. LeBron gets ring number five. AD reclaims the respect. Nobody wants to play the Lakers. And we've said this time and time again. All the Lakers have to do is get in. If you are healthy at the right time and playing the right basketball and increasing your level of play and you peak at the right time, of course you can. If you have a healthy LeBron James and you have a healthy Anthony Davis, anything can happen. At their peaks, both of those guys are top 10 players in the NBA, and then all the moves you made at the NBA trade deadline. D'Angelo Russell has looked good. Rui Hachimura has looked good. Jared Vanderbilt has showed off he's one of the most versatile defenders in the NBA. I know Beasley has somewhat been in and out of this rotation, hasn't really ball played too well, but we know he can hit shots, and I think he's a guy that when he plays next to LeBron James can get more minutes and knock down more shots. Austin Reeves has been great. You have the pieces on this roster to compete for a Larry OB, but why the Lakers? Number one, playoff experience. No player has more playoff experience than LeBron James. The elite defense. The Lakers are one of the best teams on the defensive side of the ball since the NBA All-Star break, and that's a credit to Jared Vanderbilt and Anthony Davis. They can match up with anyone. Their lineup versatility, the flexibility they have, the switchability they have on the perimeter. When they go AD at the five with LeBron and Vanderbilt and D'Lo and Schroeder or any of those guys in the backcourt, they are a tough team to score points on. And you got these two guys, LeBron and AD, who at any time can look like the best player in the NBA. But it's not just Nick Wright of FS1 that believes it. SI.com's Chris Mannix also thinks the Lakers will be in the NBA Finals, and for good reason, right? I mean, you got LeBron, LeBron freaking James, and Anthony Davis. This is what Mannix had to say. He said, mark your calendars, people. Make travel plans the first week in June. Pack your sunscreen. Get your Disneyland tickets and save a few extra bucks for the outrageous California gas prices. The Lakers are going to the NBA Finals. Watch D'Angelo Russell. Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, and Malik Beasley, the players L.A. acquired before the trade deadline, Hachimura has been a solid rotation player, and Russell is shooting nearly 40% from three-point range. Vanderbilt has brought a Dennis Rodman-like energy and rebounding skills to the starting lineup. Beasley's three-point shot has been erratic, but he is a proven deep threat. I truly believe if Beasley can get back to the player that we saw prior years of his NBA career and get back to that 37, 38, 39, 40% from downtown to go along with Vanderbilt and LeBron and AD and Russell and Ajimura and Dennis Schroeder, this team is a team that nobody in the Western Conference wants to play because when LeBron is healthy and he's determined and he is this year, 
I feel like this might be the most important ring. If LeBron wins this year, it might be the mo the best ring of his NBA career. I think it could rival the run where, where they came back from 3-1 against the Golden State Warriors. But nobody four months ago thought the Lakers could win. And this might be a walk-off moment here for LeBron James. I'll ask you guys this question. Can the Lakers win the Western Conference? Can the Lakers be the team that wins the West and gets to the NBA Finals. It's been a crazy ride for LA this year. I want all the real ones to sound off right now. Type Y for yes, type N for no. When you look at where the Lakers stack up right now in the Western Conference, they're currently in the seventh spot, but they're just one win behind the LA Clippers. And if they finish this season strong, they could be the fifth seed in the Western Conference. You see the Clippers right there at the five spot. They have the same record as the Golden State Warriors, who are currently in six. The Pelicans are tied with the Lakers at seven. This team could find a way to get up to six and avoid the play-in, you know, save those minutes for when they're actually meaningful basketball games. That would be huge. Wow, this season has been incredible for the LA Lakers. Potential matchups for the Lakers include the Memphis Grizzlies, Sacramento Kings, and Phoenix Suns. And I'm going to be honest with you. The Lakers would beat the Kings. And I think the Lakers could beat the Memphis Grizzlies. This would be tough, though. And how cool would it be to see LeBron James in AD versus Devin Booker, Chris Paul, and Kevin Durant in the first round of the playoffs? I would probably take the Lakers in any of these matchups. The Suns would be tough. That would be the hardest of them all. But they could beat the Grizzlies. They could beat the Kings. I think they would beat the Kings. I think the Kings are going to lose the first team they play in the first round. That's a cool story, but you've seen in NBA playoff history that you sometimes have to take your lumps before you get to where you want to go, and I'm not sure they have the veteran presence yet on that team. As good as Harrison Barnes is, my man, I don't know if they have the veteran presence there to ride them home and get them to advance in the Western Conference playoffs. What about you, though? Who would you rather play in the playoffs if you're the L.A. Lakers? Would it be the Grizzlies? Could it be the Young Buck Kings? Or could it be KD and the Phoenix Suns? Let me know what you think. Type G for Kings. G for Grizzlies. Wow. K for Kings or S for Suns. Sound off for me down below. Also, we just launched some purple Real One shirts for the Laker gang out there. Get your shirt. Chatsports.com slash Real One. That is Chatsports.com. Dot com slash real one. The playoffs are just around the corner and you can rock the Lakers gear and show some love and rock some chat sports swag as well. Limited time only. So you better get your gear now before it's off the shelves completely. That's chatsports.com slash real one. I want to close out the show just talking about the ringers NBA mock draft because with the way the season's going to shake out, it looks like the Lakers are going to have a first round pick. And in the latest NBA mock draft, they had the Los Angeles Lakers taking the sniper from deep, Jordan Hawkins, a NCAA national champion out of UConn. This is what Kevin O'Connor had to say about Jordan Hawkins. He said Hawkins shined during Connecticut's run to a championship with his exceptional movement and shooting ability. Although his skinny frame limits his ability to drive to the basket, he'd thrive in an offense where that skill isn't needed, such as that of the Lakers, who saw Danny Green thrive as a spot-up shooter during their 2020 title run and are now playing their best basketball of the season with better shooting. Hawkins would give them an instant rotation player. And I think O'Connor is hitting the nail on the head right here. You can never have too many shooters. And when you can add a guy like Hawkins, who I think has the Swedish J in college basketball right now, the form is perfect. The shot is wet. He's shooting 38.8% from downtown on seven plus attempts from beyond the three point stripe. The dude is a bucket, and he can light it up from downtown, and that's why I think he would fit perfect and right in next to LeBron and Anthony Davis. How many times have we seen LeBron throw that no-look skip pass to the corner and he just get a shooter wide open ready to knock down a three? Hawkins would fit perfectly in that, and I, I know O'Connor kind of talked about him being skinny. 
Mikel Bridges is skinny, and I've seen him attack the cup. Mikel Bridges is skinny, and I've seen him D up and guard some of the best players in the NBA. Now, Hawkins is not yet the defender that Bridges is, but I definitely think he has the IQ to be that type of guy one day, and the willingness, at least. He's a willing defender. He's not a bad defender by any means. He's just six foot five compared to Bridges, who's anywhere from 6'7 to 6'8. I think it would be a great pick, and if you're a Lakers fan, you got to be happy about getting another shooter like Hawkins with LeBron out in L.A. Should the Lakers draft Jordan Hawkins in round one of the NBA draft? This is your chance to chime in. Type D for draft, type P for pass. Sound off for me down in the comment section. Appreciate everybody for tuning in to today's show. Look, I think it's pretty funny now that all the analysts are picking the Lakers to win the West. It's okay. The bandwagon is not full. You're allowed to jump on it at any time. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, hit that thumbs up icon, and we'll see you later.